Hello good day viewers. Let us find a solution to this trigonometric equation. We are asked to solve the equation 2 sine squared x plus cosine x minus 2 equal to 0. We have sine squared x but this is cosine x. But I know sine squared x can be written in terms of cosine squared x. Because of that identity that stated that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1 which means that sine squared x is the same thing as 1 minus cosine squared x. So we are going to replace sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x. So 2 multiplied by 1 minus cosine squared x. Then plus the other cosine x minus 2, the whole of this equal to 0. If you expand the parentheses, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 minus 2 times cosine squared x then plus cosine x then minus 2 the whole of this equal to 0 from here you can see 2 minus 2 is 0 so let us rearrange this one as cosine x minus 2 cosine squared x cosine x minus 2 cosine squared x this is equal to 0 but the left hand side can be factorized because we have cosine x in common so we have cosine x outside inside we have 1 minus 2 cosine x and the whole of this equal to 0 now that we have two factors multiplying each other and the result is 0 it implies either cosine x equal to 0 or 1 minus 2 cosine x equal to 0 and this equation can be written in terms of cosine x that is cosine x equal to 1 divided by 2. If you take 2 cosine x to the right hand side, it becomes positive, then you divide both sides by 2. So either cosine x equal to 0 or cosine x equal to 1 divided by 2. From this equation, cosine of what angle is equal to 0? You know from the unit cycle, it is either 90 degrees, which is pi divided by 2, or 3 pi divided by 2 that is the only place where you have cosine of an angle equal to 0 because remember the coordinate here is 0 comma negative 1 while this one is 0 comma 1 so either pi divided by 2 or 3 pi divided by 2 will be the solution to this problem but if you observe from pi divided by 2 to 3 pi divided by 2 is 180 degrees because this is a diameter half of a cycle so we can choose pi divided by 2 and add multiples of this pi because once you add pi it will take you to this angle add another pi it will take you back add another pi continuously so the first solution here x is equal to pi divided by 2 plus multiples let me use k k pi or pi k let me use pi k pi times k for which this k is an integer so what about this other one? Cosine of which angle is 1 divided by 2? From the first quadrant, it is cosine of pi divided by 3, which is 60 degrees, right? So let me draw it here. From the first quadrant, if you have 60 degrees here, which is pi divided by 3, cosine of 60 degrees is the same thing as 1 over 2. Remember that this angle right here is the same thing with this angle right here. And their cosine ratios are all the same because this leg is forever positive, right? So the angle here that corresponds to this one, they have the same terminal points. We have for cosine 1 divided by 2. And also here we have 1 divided by 2. Therefore, cosine of this angle is 1 divided by 2. And cosine of the angle here will also be 1 divided by 2. And how can we obtain it? By subtracting pi divided by 3 from 2 pi. If you do that, you're going to obtain... 5 pi divided by 3. So these two angles, pi divided by 3 and 5 pi divided by 3, have the same cosine ratios. So what will be the solution here? x can either be equal to pi divided by 3. And remember, if you add multiples of 2 pi, which is 360 degrees, a complete cycle, it will take you back to this angle, which is a complete revolution. So you can add multiples of this 2 pi.
and x can also be equal to 5 pi divided by 3 from quadrant 4 also plus 2 pi k for which i told you k is an integer so these are the three solutions we have 10 x could either be equal to pi divided by 2 plus multiples of pi x can also be equal to pi divided by 3 or 5 pi divided by 3 plus multiples of 2 pi thank you for watching do share to your line and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye